What effect on terrestrial vegetation does reduction in sea ice have? Welcome friends, Jim here. So I uh, want this is a quick little video, but uh, this little article appeared in phys.org. Research finds evidence that reductions in sea ice are helping tree lines spread north. Okay, so here we have a nice uh, uh, picturesque uh, northern latitude uh, landscape. Some snow in the hills, vegetation, water body here. A team of researchers from Alaska Pacific University, the University of Alaska Anchorage, and Northern Arizona University has found evidence that reductions in sea ice in the Arctic are helping white spruce trees move north and up mountainsides. In their study published in the journal Science, the group compared tree line spread in areas with reductions in sea ice in areas where little sea ice reduction has occurred. Prior research has shown that when large bodies of water grow warmer during the summer, they tend to experience more evaporation, which makes sense, as the winter months arrive. The result is more snow falling on nearby land. Makes sense. If you're going to evaporate water, it's going to be returned. Prior research has also shown that some trees, such as white spruce, are better able to survive in extremely cold places when there is a lot of snow cover. It shields the seedlings from the cold and wind. Snow cover is a good insulation. It, it is. Oftentimes you'll find that, you know, if the ambient air temperature is, say, for example, minus 20 Fahrenheit, and you've got uh, a snow covering or a snowpack is say a couple feet thick in the middle of that it uh, could very well be zero or 10 above fahrenheit so and this is where you find a lot of uh, little rodents you know hibernating running around what have you it's it's a lot warmer down there in this new study the researchers found that in parts of the Arctic where sea ice has been reduced due to climate change, water temperatures have been rising, leading to more snow falling in surrounding areas. That has led to encroachment of tree lines as seedlings fare better over the winter, so the higher survival rate. The researchers studied satellite images comparing tree line encroachment in areas near uh, sea ice reductions with areas that where there's been little change in sea ice. They also uh, gathered data from 19 field sites over four years, doing a lot of hiking. They found a pattern in which tree lines were encroaching near places where the sea ice has been retreating, but not in other areas. The researchers also found increased snow land near places where the sea ice has been treating serves as a blanket on the ground. Everything below the blanket stays warmer through the winter, long winter than it does places with a thinner blanket. That allows microbes to decompose organic matter in the topsoil all winter long, and that in turn releases nutrients that feed the seedlings, further helping them survive the winter. The team concludes that as tree lines encroach, they cover more land with greenery, which absorbs heat, pushing the Arctic to grow warmer even faster. In other words, a nice little positive feedback loop. Keep in mind, you know, this is a, this is a very interesting finding. But keep in mind that over the last 50 years, there's been plenty of, do of documentation of the changing vegetative uh, nature in the Arctic. Uh, as the uh, Arctic warms, we're seeing a lot of the tundra vegetation, the tundra grasses and so on, being replaced more and more by uh, shrubs, willow shrubs, uh, and so forth. Because as the permafrost thaws, the soil is thicker, 
that allows the, the roots of the shrubs in order to be able to gain a foothold. They need uh, deeper soils for their th uh, deeper, thicker roots, longer roots. Whereas the tundra vegetation, they just need a shallow soil layer because their roots are shallow. And of course, then you have windswept areas. So as the permafrost thaws, the, the ground that is uh, frozen disappears. So we get a thicker, at least seasonal fall layer and a thicker uh, overall unthawed area that allows the roots the deep roots that these shrubs require allows them to establish themselves. We're also seeing this along riparian zones. We're seeing more and more trees establish themselves. Uh, around riparian zones, the soil tends to be uh, non, uh, not frozen because of the water percolation and so forth. So now we're seeing a, a tie-in with the loss of the sea ice, presumably there's the loss of albedo, which means there's warmer conditions that perhaps contribute to the warming, uh, the, the thawing, excuse me, of the uh, permafrost that allows uh, such plants as these white spruce to establish themselves. So, um, an interesting uh, finding here. And another feedback, uh, positive feedback loop. And another example of how not only is the climate merely changing but ecosystems are changing in response so until next time thank you for your time